Good morning, everybody. Let's see what we got here to eat. There's always something interesting here. Potatoes. So, uh, that's kind of the funny thing is there's always something funny going on out here to eat. The gentleman who's eating that, um, the other day I watched him eat three Coney dogs at 7 o'clock in the morning like he was Joey Chestnut. It was something to be seen. And then two hours later, he was all, oh. I mean, he was rocking the Coney dogs. So uh, that's the difference between working down uh, here in the shop is uh, in the woods in the shop. Um, and when you work out in the woods, everybody kind of has a gas station that they hit up, something like that. Down here, everybody brings food from home, and it's kind of a little different scenario. So you're always seeing interesting stuff come in and out of the shop food-wise. So we're in the woods, everybody just run into a gas station, and they have their favorite gas station that they turn into a religion that they have to stop to every day to get pizza or get burritos or get muffins. Down here, they bring food from home, and it gets interesting. But Joey Chestnut over there knocking out three Coney dogs at 7 o'clock in the morning. That was impressive. And they were legit full something to be proud of but he was hurting later so we're gonna get to hose work today that's what we gotta do uh, we have made the first hose uh, Brian took it out already um, all those are one inches Brian says let's knock out the three-quarter so uh, we're gonna rock the three-quarter for a while but I'm looking that's not gonna be good because that's all the three-quarter I got that's one inch one inch, one inch, one inch. So we're in trouble. We got a little section where Brian's working at, right in there. We're gonna try to rock the three quarter out, but I know I'm short already. So uh, we'll run out of three quarter and we'll start doing one inch. And uh, hopefully everything goes swell. That's the project this morning. So they give those away, I guess, Continental does couple dollars a piece yeah so we shall see what happens here's the, here's the 45 I need I need an inch here's the 45 I need Welcome back, here we go. For those who don't know how this really works, it's pretty simple. You got a little dial right here. And that stops you right here from where you need to be. And that pinches together. And uh, here's your codes. Pretty simple. So we're at 0.5 for the one inch, inch uh, four wire red die. So we got the red die. And uh, right there, that's zero, so if you go this way, you're going to go plus five, right there. So, um, I just went past, I went to one, didn't I? So if you go back up to, right there, zero. And then you go down, and that's your one inch setting. It does a good job, so I mean, uh, yeah, one hose after another, that's all you're doing. I got a good jump on them, but uh, it's gonna be difficult to do this with one hand. So give me one second here. Give me just one little minute here. So you get that in there. Boy, this is gonna be really hard. There we go. Stop 
this up just a little bit. Like so. And that's nice. So, that one was a flat face only on this one. JIC on this one. And then you just go over here. She's a top flare, orange, no filter, you know, you know what I mean, for the filter. So then you take this. Flip around this one. There it is. Just pretty simple. Except for two hands is always easier, but what do you do? You know, we gotta make videos. You guys will be asking questions. So you take this over here and uh, throw her in the pile. And you give her a little air. Make sure the inside's cleaned out. Then, you gotta take this junk hose, and this is what we've done today. A lot of hose, a lot of fittings. So, the dumpster was completely full, the, tr the uh, truck just got here and dumped it. So, uh, that's today. Um, these ones here, we're checking on those fittings. But uh, I can keep continuing on these. And that's a long hose there. That's work. Why didn't we just do that before? Why didn't we just do that before? Well, when you do stuff the hard way, it makes you appreciate what you got done. Though. That's true. End of the day wrap up. So, we went through today, uh, we, I uh, made uh, 200 foot of one inch, over 200 foot of one inch hose, and probably 170, probably foot of three-quarter hose. That's how many hoses and fittings, how much hose we went through today. Um, we didn't do any half inch or anything else. We just focused on the, I got all the one inch done and then uh, I worked on the uh, three-quarter and got, we almost ran out of that. So we got a little bit of one inch left. Uh, a lot of the, I mean, that's, that's a lot of hoses there. Uh, but you know, they're all put on, you know, like a boss, professional, you can look at it. Oh man. I mean, that looks good. That looks good. So here's what's going on with the machine. Uh, them two hoses are on there. We didn't do the half inch yet. So got those on there. Everything cleaned up. But this side here, let's see if we can get out of that sun. So we did all the three quarter here. Everything's done here except for those two half inchers and uh, there's one three quarter right there everything else is done here um, there's some long buggers in here uh, this one's another long one here they go up and over into the pumps but yeah so we just gotta plug those back in and then uh, all the one inchers are kind of all dug right into here for your flail drums. So when they run all the way up into here, we talked about that yesterday. So we will leave them off for now because we want to do all this three quarter first. Then we can run all our one inch through here without the three quarter being in the way. That was the idea. So uh, yeah, kind of the idea what we were doing. Uh, it was kind of fun working around up and through here was kind of a routing them differently so we got it we got a good jump on the hoses today um, once we get this section done then we just have under the cab to do we should probably work on that but we'll discuss that in the next video I'll make a video here um, under there but like this whole side will be done and the other whole side is uh, a good chunks done on that so if we look at that uh, 
the conveyor hoses are done now. Got those done. Um, so like from here, here back, you know, he's got to replace a couple of those. But uh, all these are done too. So you're pretty much three quarters of the machine is almost three head hosed. We could do that up there in a day if we had the cab sitting up there um, pretty easily. Redo all that, get all that done in a day would be nice. And then it's just up here. And this is just more tedious, time consuming uh, stuff. Like that mess right in there. That waller a half inch hose. And then this waller a half inch hose and quarter inch hose and three eighths. But yeah, it, we got a good jump. Real good jump on it today. So everybody's ready to go home after today because it was, it was long, hot. So a lot of hose action, but I uh, redid this a little bit. Didn't put the splice in down there. This conveyor is not out all the way. So therefore you gotta take that. That's why it's a little more slack than probably normal. It's not where we want it, but it's where it's gonna be for right now. So we did those hoses, but uh, yeah, we had just a mess of hoses we did today. Just an absolute mess. Um, so those ones there, I don't have the ends for. That's why they're still sitting there. Otherwise, I'd have went and did those too. But that's all the hoses. Dumpster full. Dumpster full of hoses. That's what went on today. You gotta just keep rolling. Next video you're gonna enjoy. Uh, it'll be kind of funny. Uh, the race is gonna take place. Cash money involved. Thanks for watching. And as always, everybody, you gotta just keep rolling.